I've got something awesome to tell you about on this segment of tips and tricks. The new Elite Series uh, tungsten has come out with a new umbrella rig. But I love this sh the shape of this uh, shad head design. It's a really narrow design. Comes through the water a lot better. Uh, super durable and strong wires. Um, the one I've got in my hand right now is a six rig. What you need to do is once you get your rig, all these wires are going to be straight. So what you have to do is you have to pull them, pull them out in an equal direction. Uh, this is a six wire. I've kind of got this one in a five wire configuration. Got one main one, two out the sides, two down to the bottom, and one down the middle. Uh, I've got another one that's already rigged up here, more in a fan shaped six rig design. This is actually one that uh, I throw around here. Uh, I've only got three baits on here because the, the state of Missouri only allows three baits at one time. And that's their ruling on the umbrella rig. So what I've done, instead of putting a bait on the hook, I've put little spinners to actually show an example of a variety of different baits that you can actually throw on here. Uh, use your spinner bait blades. Uh, they're kind of a teaser. But let's get into tying it up. We'll get our uh, rod jacket off of here. Uh, man, I love these things because they not only protect the reels, but also they protect the rod. Uh, it's a neoprene cover. Very economical uh, with your equipment. The rod that I'm using is a Dobbins 795 Mike Long swim bait rod. So it'll be a 795 ML SB. Man, this rod has it has the tip. But look at that backbone there. The other thing that I really like about this is the long handle. Look at that handle. You can put that handle up under here, and when you set the hook, you're setting with your body more than your arm. And that allows you to throw this rig. It's not going to wear you out. Uh, you look. It's rated for one to five ounces. Um, this rig's going to weigh a half ounce. By the time you put heads on it, if you're using quarter ounce heads. You're pushing that bait up in an ounce and a half. You can throw swim bait hooks. You can throw bigger baits. And you can push that rig up into the two, three, four, five ounce range. And this rod and reel is going to handle that. So, what I'm going to show you is how to tie it on. I use just a standard polymer knot. Take your rig, run it, run it through the eyelet here. The line that I'm using is, is a braided line. Um, some people want to throw mono. I'm having very good success with small diameter braid. Um, the size that I like to throw is a 30 or 40 pound. What you'll need to do is come down, gather up your rig arm, come down and bring your loop around that, pull it down, cinch it, pull that down, and give it a good cinch. One of the reasons I like braid is if I'm throwing this rig around brush piles. The lure gets hung up in a brush pile. The best thing to do is get right over the top of it and pull up, pull upwards like this with your rig and you'll either bend open this snap swivel or you'll bend the hook and still come back with your rig. If you bend one of these snaps, one thing I like about a leak tungsten, they're using the split ring and then the snap swivel. Um, you're going to tear up this snap swivel before you tear up the split ring or your, your wire. So um, your investment or your umbrella rig head is not going to, you're not going to lose that investment as easy. So what we need to do is just clip our tag in here. Um, you can throw a variety of baits, different heads. This is just a standard ball jig head. Um, this is the the Aaron Martin scrounger style head that you can get through. I think Davis Bait Company makes probably one of the better ones out on the market. That'll give it a little bit more side to side. You can throw that on a swim bait. You can throw it on. A, you can throw a grub. Um, here's swim baits. There's another swim bait. That's kind of a fork tail style. That's uh, the hollow belly hollow belly style swim bait. I mean, there's a multitude of things you can throw. Flukes. Uh, this is a little uh, pre-rigged uh, curly tail bait. But what you want to do is uh, is 
run that bait on this hook. One of the things that I like to do is when you're running a bait on a hook is to, to run it up and right before you is just get you some some uh, super glue or crazy glue. I like to use uh, this brush on kind, just put you a little around the head there. Take this thing and just push it up against there, hold that head. And what that's going to do is that's going to hold that bait on that hook a lot better. So all you have to do is open up these snaps. And if you want to use grubs, you can. Um, that's been a very effective technique. Uh, I've thrown chartreuse, I've thrown black ones, I've thrown white ones. Um, the, and I'm having as equally excess in dirty water as I am in the, the clear water with this rig. Uh, I think the thing is, is a lot of people aren't throwing it into dirty water. But you just rig these, just rig your, your baits. You can use different combinations. One thing that I would recommend if you're throwing different baits is to throw the same weight heads. Uh, I'm just going to rig up some different baits here to show you how they look on it. I got one of them. I'll throw another one of them on there. there's a variety of baits. Now I've got five baits in there. And one thing, uh, like I mentioned, states that have regulations. Um, Missouri is a three bait system. I could throw these three hooks here, but these are more teasers. You can use them as teasers, or you can cut the, trim the hook off of the, of the bait. And that's definitely where you're going to want to use super glue, is if you want to throw another bait without a hook. Um, I've seen it where you can you can reel the fish in all the way and get them in the boat with a teaser. Now one of the things that you could do is uh, you could throw a throw a blade. Here's a big planted blade. Just take it, put it on your snap. You can have you can add a lot of vibration, a lot more color. Tease that thing. You can have this one, that blade sitting in the middle there spinning with the the baits around it. There's a volt there's a multitude of different uses that you can use with these rigs. Um, grab you a couple, check out Elite Tungsten, man, they've got they've got bait rigs from three, four, five, six, seven wire. Um, we're working on designing a lot more different types of rigs and different actions uh, to make it a lot more enjoyable to go out there and catch fish and uh, anybody can throw them. You can throw this bait out there, you can let it sink to the bottom and just crawl it across the bottom. Um, you can throw it out there, reel it fast, burn it across the top. Uh, or you can throw it out there and just reel it in the in the water column. Just get you a good rod that's going to make it a lot easier to cast this bait. It's going to be more of a sweeping cast um, and then it's just a steady reel. And when you set the hook, you'll feel them fish just crush it. and. With this long, nice handle, all you have to do is set that, is just sweep that rod into it, and you're gonna, you got that fish stuck. Get them in the boat, get a picture of them, put them back in the lake for for everybody else to catch them. Now, one tip on storing these rigs: uh, you got this many baits, and you're trying to store these in a box or in your boat. As you can rig, pull these together. One of the things I like to do is take a little piece of string or uh, take your rubber band if you take your rubber band or, or even like a big o an o-ring you can slide it over the top of this and pull all these pull all of these wires together and that's going to hold that rig like that um, check out all of Elite Tungsten's great products uh, they've got a drop shot weights flipping weights warm weights punching weights and uh, they'll take good care of you. And we'll see you next time on Tips and Tricks with Doug Varenberg.